Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended here on Aberration. This is TVT here, and today we've got uh, one thing we need to tame before we can really proceed with this playthrough, and that is we're going to be taming this guy right here, this uh, level 140 Yi Ling. Yes, that is the correct name. It's like Bat Bird Dino, like Bat Bird Thing. Like, kind of like a bat bird dragon, like a cockatrice, but not. Um, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, you know, it pleases the algorithm gods and it really, uh, it spreads this video around the platform and really does help me out. And I greatly appreciate it. That was a very botched intro, but I don't really care because, uh, I'm, I'm in the middle of, of fighting for my life here. <laughs> um... So my crab is on passive, just so we're clear. That's, that's why that's working the way it is. Ah, damn it. I got you. I did not mean to do that. Um, the way that you're supposed to do this, by the way, is exactly what I'm doing here. We're going to stand here. We're going to let him pepper me with feathers. That's it. Uh, until I get about 30 of them. Um, now, i got to be careful, because if he lands on the ground, he's going to run and try and bite me. Just like that. Watch this. Oh, or not. Well, I don't know what I don't know what he's doing. I don't I don't think I don't think she knows what she's doing either. Yes, this is a female. This is a level 140. Uh, and I oh shit. Okay. Ah damn it. Okay, so the way this has to work, I think, is we have to stand like kind of right here, basically. They don't get aggroed onto my stuff. Just shoot me. Oh. Ah! Okay, so what you're supposed to do, and that's what I'm having a hard time with, is the ti and on the timing on this, is I need to get hit by these feathers. Like, I need to get 30 of these feathers on me, and once I have 30 of these feathers, I will be... Oh, shit. So I do have a shield, which is to protect me from the bites. Yeah, now he's gonna bite again. let him pepper and I may die a few times during this while I'm trying to figure out this process <laughs> it's kind of involved so so he's gonna do that okay so you throw your grenade right I don't know if that did anything I think that might have been a little late on the draw I think you have to hit him while he's um while he's in the red. Oh, yeah, he, which he is. And I'm stuck. Yeah. See, it doesn't work. Ouch. See, it doesn't hurt a lot. Doesn't do a, doesn't hurt a whole lot, but it does hurt. And he's he is whittling down my oh shit. Okay, we fed him, I think. I'm not sure. Yes, we have. Okay. So we did feed him that first time, too. So he's going to try it again, hopefully, pretty soon. Please. Oh. Ah, I missed. Oh. Hi. Yeah. Stop. Stop biting me. Stop freaking biting me. That is, that is not cash money. I actually have to be kind of careful now. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, and I got screwed because he hit a rock. Not okay. There he goes. Yep, there we go. Okay, so actually not terribly difficult tame to do. So what ha what's going to happen is he's going to try after a few more volleys to hit me again. I think. This earthquake is really annoying. It doesn't help that I can't see where he went. There he is. 
Oh my god, this earthquake is lasting way too long. Okay. Can this earthquake, like, not, please? Like, really? Okay. Oh, we have an Amazon Ravager. Very nice. Okay, we need a few more, and then I think we're good. Now, the problem is, I need to make sure I don't screw this up. Because if I do, I have to go get more for my crab. And we're in here. Okay. Get into the air. There he is. Come on. Nope. Damn it. Okay, he's breaking all my stuff. Okay. So this does actually cause... Uh, it does... Like, the feathers do damage armor, by the way. And that rock right there, I might destroy that rock. That rock is getting on my nerves. It is, it is messing me up real good. Can't do anything about that rock, though, unfortunately. Okay, is he... Yeah, he's kind of stuck. He's gonna come over and try and nail me. I didn't make a saddle for this yet, so we're gonna have to go do that. So this kind of works like a, um... An Acrocanthosaurus, if you've played Ark Editions. It's in that you must feed it the narcotic, which is why I've got biotoxin in the right, on my far right of my inventory. So you cannot tranquilize this thing uh, by shooting it. You can only feed it that. And we have these grenades, these fruit from the plant species Z. And I'll go over how you get those soon. Right now we're going through the process. Ah! I missed it. I think what happened was he went for me and then maybe hit something else. I think one or two more should do it. Yeah, every time he does, he goes that way, he hits that. So you gotta be careful. I'm just gonna keep him interested. Yeah, my crab is on passive, so that's good. Oh, he's down. He's down. Very good. Okay. Now, here's the thing. We gotta go back and get... Uh, we gotta go back to my house and get... Um, Cause I didn't bring my mutton. I did bring prime, but not mutton. Um, so I gotta go back and grab my meat, so we're gonna go do that. It's on my um, Antrodemus. My good meat, anyway. Um, we're gonna put this guy on the train, on the taming calculator. Taming thingy. Uh, change in progress. Yeah, so he should be, yeah, right behind. She should be right there. And that's a level 140. As you can see, when you use what is essentially a reverse trap, we'll go over all of that, the, the how we did it, in a minute. Um, well, that's what I love about this area where I put my house, is that you can pretty much do this, and there's, there's yeeling right around the area. And I just got lucky with the fact that there was one there. Oh, oh god. Looks like we're having some issues with the local riffraff. We'll deal with that. And we got some Ravagers. I've noticed the new Arcology Ravagers look really, really nice. This is gonna get ridiculous. These these stupid dogs. I really need to. I really need to take the time to tame some of these arcology creatures, and I will. But uh, for right now, I was more focused on just like, yeah. See, we got our plant. This is what I've been doing. Um, plant species Z stuff. I left my door open like a complete, like a complete dumbass. But whatever. Didn't have anything on wander anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um. Uh, yeah, what do we need to make a saddle for this? Oh, come on. By the way, I got this shield from a, uh, from a drop. More like a blue cave drop. Cave drops in here do not, uh, matter as much, but I did find one while I was in blue, so that was very useful. 
Actually, I don't know if it was a blue drop. It's a blue shield. I don't remember what the drop was. Yeah, my crab actually got kind of banged up, which is uh, interesting considering it's level 311 with over 41k HP. <laughs> this is a serious crab, especially with its um, stun on, in, on attack ability. But yeah, my armor is basically busted, so I'm going to have to fix it. Um, but yeah, uh, if you don't use this trap, which is what we're going to go over here, while this thing is taming up, depending on how long it takes, it might not take very long at all. Um, this is a two by two um, floor, uh, stone floor. Uh, so four stone floors and then 16 stone doorways. So you're making a two by two with two high doorways. If that makes sense. Okay, we're going to put this in now that I've explained that. And we're probably going to have to cut away. Yep, because my dad just got back with food. So I will be right back. Alrighty, we are back. And this guy is almost fully tamed up, as you can see. Uh, there is an Arcology version of this one. Uh, but all of the ones that I found so far are trash levels. So not going to be doing that. At any rate, um, actually, what is the, where is the shiny, d uh, Ravager? There's the Arcology one. I'm looking for the, Am okay, Amazon. Okay, I'm not near enough to find it. Okay, I don't know what we're going to name this thing, but uh, here it is. Here is the Yi Ling. Now, apparently, it's got a lot of different stuff that it can do. Uh, all right, we're going to unequip this shield. We're not going to be needing it now. These things are also... I don't like using shields. They're very heavy. Um. So, yeah, not a good time. Alrighty, um, hmm. I think I know what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna leave this trap here for the moment. Actually, we better not. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut away and I'll bring us back when we have a proper saddle for this thing. That, uh, that should save some trouble. Okay, we are back, and I gotta say, this creature looks amazing, and the saddle looks really good. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Uh, one thing, though, uh, we're gonna come over here, and I'm going to... Let me show you the farm uh, of what little there is. Okay, so you kind of have to... Yeah, this is kind of annoying, actually, the way I've done it, but it's a very basic setup. Um, it's just a four by, it's just a two by two with, um, plant species Z growing in them. And I actually use the Bob's Tall Tale sh uh, shovel to get myself a growth and a, um, what's it called? It's a growth and, like, a production bonus on it, so these grew really fast and started producing even faster, and that was fantastic. But yeah, you can grow plant species Z from the plant spe species Z seeds that you will find, uh, produced by the wild plants. What you cannot do, however, is um, you will not get fruit from those wild ones. You have to get them from these. We go into our inventory here, and we see we've got 12 right here. So, you can see there are the harvest bonus as the soil has been tilled. So, all is right with the universe. I'm probably not gonna grow real crops. If I do, it'll just be for fun because I'm not really gonna be making kibble. Uh, it's not really a need for it, but, you know, maybe. I have my kibble farm back on island, so if I need to go get it, get more, get kibble, I can do so. Alrighty, and now, to the main event. Now, initial reactions, uh, so far. Okay, so how does this work? Okay. Let's just take her on the ground, see what she could do. Okay, not great damage, but something. Pretty fast, even even at ground level. Yeah, 
Okay, so that was left click. So as you can see, it's pretty quick. It kind of hops around like a bird. Uh, much like a rock drake, you press spacebar to glide once you are in, once you have jumped. What does right click do on the ground? Nothing. What does control do? Okay, so most of its abilities are airborne, huh? Okay, so Razor is is that attack. So Razor is right click. Razor is the Razor Feathers. Okay, how do you aim this? So it'll fire them in volleys, as you can see. And those do consume stamina, by the way. Okay, this is definitely going to take some getting used to. As you can see, they do... Okay, so you can latch onto things, but only from a higher position. Only from a gliding position. Okay, can I do the dive bomb? Okay, so I'm stupid. I didn't realize that this has a handy dandy helper menu on the side. So let's do left control. Okay, left control is called rupture. So it's it is the dive. It's left control and left click. This is definitely a creature that's going to take some getting used to, but I love it for its mobility. Okay, and you can, okay, this is a cool creature. I'm seeing a lot of combo potential here with its attacks, and that's not something Ark does a whole lot of. So you can go right into that, get some air, and then respond. That's so neat. Okay, I'm not, I'm gonna have to do a creature feature for this once I fully understand how it all works. Okay, so you cannot do rupture while you are left control plus right click. That should toggle the feather. Okay, aim mode. actually screwing me out of it okay so if we look at this okay aim mode is says it's c what the hell have i been pressing how much hp are you down to okay i've done about half this is a level 10 pariser so and i think that this creature has the potential to be pretty good but Bar, so if you get the bar filled up, how do you lose track of a? Oh! Beep, beep, beep. 
Okay, I think we're starting to get the hang of it. Okay, so most of these... Okay, we're definitely going to have to work on this a bit more. Like, this is... this thing it doesn't start out that strong but it has some really good potential and I'm gonna have to really take the time to master it and understand it but this is definitely worthy of a uh, of a creature feature and I'm sorry I've kind of been slacking on those I'll be dead honest I just haven't been feeling like doing them lately so I have not been doing them Now, there's a, now, now, there is a good reason why I wanted to tame this thing. Firstly, it's time to tame one. It's the new creature that came with the map, and... Oh, all right. Ow. Nope, I do not want that. Do not want that smoke right now. Okay, yeah, you can latch. Can you gain stamina while you're latched? Yes, you can. Very good. That's very useful. Not a lot of creatures can do that while latched onto things. Now, this is a glider. Um, much, like, uh, much like the Rock Drake. And I think, to some extent, the... Um What's it called? The uh, Mana Garmer, but the Mana Garmer is very different from this one. This is definitely much closer to something like the Drake. Um, although I will say it's going to be interesting to master this. But once once I do, the mobility this provides is just, is just wild. And this is a, a taint. Like, let's look at the saddle here. Oh, hell no. Like, yeah, I can fight that. I don't really want to. I'm gonna get grabbed off. Because, yeah, they, they can grab you off of your mount. Or grab your mount itself. And pull them into the water. And grab a boost there. Very responsive on the controls for this, though. Like, it really moves where you're pointing, where, where you're aiming. Unless that direction is up. By the way, when you want to land on something, uh, do not press, um, or land on a wall. Do not press spacebar again. Just, just run into it while gliding. You will, you will attach. Gotta say, beautiful colors on this thing, too. Just stunning creature. I'm taking the long way. I want to go to blue just to see what we could do, although I might not. I think, quite frankly, I think this is a good enough showing. But I, there is a place I would like to go, and that is um, what we could... One of my potential build spots, because I've been really conflicted over where I want to go. So... I'm like, oh, we could go back to the same place we went before, which is where I'm taking us now. Um, and be by before, I mean in my Ark Survival Evolved Aberration playthrough, I went there, and that's where I set up shop. Uh, it's very different now in Ark Survival Ascended. Like, it doesn't look the same at all, but it's still pretty. 
I still think it would be a really nice place to set up shop. But I also been wondering if I could set up in blue somewhere, just so I'm kind of in the middle of everything. The lighting might be a little annoying, but uh, you know what? Hashtag deal with it. I will say, this is a very good, like a very solid creature, and it looks so good. Actually, what trait does it have? Can I tell? King slaying. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. But yeah, uh, hopefully within the next episode or two, we're going to be moving shops. So probably going to try and find and tame another one of these. I would like to start getting some Arcology variants of creatures. They, they, they look, some of them look real cool. So I've been looking into doing that. Probably do some of that on camera. Um, yeah. But this is the main reason I want it. What the hell? There was an animal right there and it just vanished. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things, but... Yeah, see that pat platform across the way? That's where we set up shop in Ark Survival ev uh, Evolved, and I would love to do so again, because it's gorgeous over there. They've definitely made some changes. It's a lot bigger than it used to be. Um, but yeah, I really want to try and see what we could do about that. So it's either going to be we bring out the Nothosaurus, and then we carry things. So this thing does not have very good weight. So this is not a, this is a scout and an attack creature, not a, uh, a weight carrier. So if you're going to bring building supplies, only bring what you need to get started. But yeah, probably going to look at that, looking at it now, it definitely is looking like a nice place to live. So oh, look at that animation. That's really cool. I love that idol. This is a nice creature. This is a great addition. I admit, I had my doubts at first, because I'm like, wait, why not just tame a rock drake, or why tame a rock drake over this? And the answer is because the rock drake is, stat-wise, going to be a lot better. Um, and the rock drake, while probably more basic in a lot of ways, as it's an older creature, definitely has things that it does that this guy can't. Like, this thing can't run up walls. Rock drakes can. Uh, it can't camouflage. Rock drakes can. A rock drake is probably going to be a little faster on the glide, especially on the dive bomb, than this thing. But uh, this thing is good. It is a great early to mid-game creature, and the mobility that it affords you is god tier. See, I can just get right across here. All the way here. Yeah, perfect. Absolutely stunning. And I think this is as good a place as any to call it an episode. So once again, if you enjoyed it, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. All of those things that please the algorithm gods and spread this video around the platform. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. But now that we got this thing, we can work on moving house. And then from there, we can work on um, building up and getting ready for properly going into blue. And, um, and then into the radiation zone. So hopefully that will be coming up in the next couple episodes. And on that note, before we fully sign off, I just want to say I am sorry for the lack of content the past two weeks. I have been drained by real life stuff uh, that I've been busy on, plus a bunch of other things. And on top of that, I just felt a little burnt out from the game due to the fact that those last two um, through, through bugs were far, far longer than they had to be. Like it was what you watched was like 20, 30 to 40 minutes of content versus the hours and hours that I was playing getting stuff done. Now, the Antrodemus wasn't as bad, because after the Karkinos incident, I went, uh-uh, we're not doing that again. <laughs> we're not. I, I hate to do it, but I will use those commands to make stuff happen. <laughs> I haven't used them since, but um, yeah, I just wanted to point that out there. Uh, that's why I've been a little bit lacking in content. Um, hopefully, whoa, man, nighttime just really came on there. Oh, alrighty, we're back. And as I was saying, like, what was I saying? <laughs> well, well, I was saying nighttime comes really fast in uh, in these parts, but you know, let's take a look at this thing's base stats. So. Uh, okay, 34 into that, and 37. Okay, not terrible, not the greatest, but by no means bad. Um, would have appreciated a 40 on something, especially as, I don't know if this is tagged as a flyer, but, yeah. 
honestly really good creature great addition to the game uh, and as I said, I had my doubts, but this thing definitely has enough things that it can do to uh, make it so uh, to earn its keep and separate it from things like the rock drake. Um, okay, what I was okay, yeah, I was saying how a nightfall came, and then what was I talking about before? Yes, right. Um, hopefully, I should be getting back to more regular content. Come maybe not this coming week because I again have a lot of. IRL stuff I have to take care of. You know, we got, um, I've got a lot of work to do. Gotta, gotta get, gotta get going, making money. But, um, apart from that, hopefully I can get out two videos, and then the week after this, hopefully will be lighter, and I can really get around to, um, maybe three or four again, just to really get this, get this content flowing. And yeah, with that out of the way, this has been TBT. I'm signing off, and I'll catch you lovely people on the next episode of Ark Survival Ascended here on Aberration.